Yeah. <laughs> hey, Loon. <laughs> Gosh, the bag just fit. That was so perfect. Ah! That looks like enough room for Layla, right? Yeah. Yeah! Mine yeah. <laughs> didn't have all the room in the world. And... The back here, boat looks like it has a little bit of room. Definitely got some space. Okay, Rooks. Like that bar. Come here, Rooks. No, 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 Rooks, get out, get, get out, out, come on, what are you, what are you, come here, come over here, all right, come here, no, 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 no. Rooks, Rooks, that's my boat, Rooks, what are you doing, Rooks, hey, gotta drip dry your Rooks, there we go, all right, watch out, Rooks, or Layla, Layla, come here. Watch out, I'm gonna get you, here, I'm gonna get you wet. I'm gonna get you wet. I'm gonna get you wet. I don't know if I want my feet in my boat until we get out there. Okay. And we are off. Oh, this is, I'm gonna have to put my feet in the boat. Layla, what are you doing? Uh, your dog's, uh. Layla, come here. Come on, Layla. I think I'm gonna wait. Come here, Layla. Come here. <laughs> Come here. Come on, Layla. Come on. Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen. I am out with first mate Pee Poops McToots, first mate Rugus Tugus Bud Badugus, Captain Teeny Trout, and uh, first, first mate Layla. She's gonna get a better nickname towards the end, but. Uh, yeah, we're gonna spend a couple nights out here doing a little canoe camping. We're gonna try to stay at two different sites and maybe catch some fish, eat some good food, and have a good time. So as you can see, Lucas has brought along his pup, Layla. And she's a first time, he'd taken her in the canoe before, but never uh, doing something like this. This is the first time, so we're gonna see how it goes. And I've never done a trip with both dogs so we're gonna see how that goes. Rugus has been in the boat before, but I've never, normally I'll just go to like one lake, but we're gonna try to move and portage. So I'm gonna have to be pretty careful. Rugus is a good boy, so he'll probably stay pretty good for, the, he'll probably stay pretty good for the most part. But uh, you may be wondering, who is Layla? Where did she come from? So I guess we'll tell a little bit of a story. So 
a long time ago, before Ruger was spayed and before Monty was neutered, they had a little pup and they only had one. And that pup turned out to be a girl. And that girl was given to Captain Teeny Trout, well, sold, if I'm being quite honest. <laughs> and that turned out to be Layla. So that's her true origin story, where she's come from. So she's got a destiny that is great. And she will, she will become a canoe dog one day that could be the greatest canoe dog of all, who knows, but that's, I think that's Monty. But anyways, we're going through, through some lily pads right now. We're gonna get out a little ways and then we're gonna let the dogs swim. And they're all hot. It was just a muck pit back there. So, the boat is a little tippy. I'm gonna have to be quite careful. So let's get going. Good boy, Rooks. You're doing so good, Rooks. This is a vast improvement over last time, Mr. Rooks. You were just chilling right out. I think he knows the drill. Just a good boy. Monty, you're being a good boy as well, as usual. I don't even need to say it. Ruger just laid down. I didn't even ask him to. I was asking Monty to. Look at that. Hey. Yeah, I guess you can you can sit up. As long as you guys aren't standing, I think we're good. All right, we're gonna attempt to let them out, but you gotta be careful when you got two dogs in the boat. Ruger's gonna wanna just jump out, and if he throws off our weight too much, either of them do, we're flipping. We do not want that. So Ruger, you stay there, both you stay. Stay until I can get a solid grounding, okay? Be good. Don't, don't embarrass me on the old camera. All right, stay there, stay, stay. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead, Monty. Good boys. That was, that was painless. All right, wait. We'll wait for the old good Captain Sertini Trout. Okay, so a good little tidbit about the boys here. Monty, obviously he's a veteran. He will follow the boat, he will swim across lakes. He will stay by my side. Ruger will stay by my side too, except if I go too far out in water. So, if I try to paddle and get him to swim across a, a small area, he definitely in the past would not do it. We'll attempt it once today, once or twice. I don't think it's gonna happen, but maybe. You know, as he learns to swim and it's hot, he might not wanna come back in the boat, but he might also ask to come in the boat and then we'll just have him come back in the boat. We'll let Monty do his thing. Layla, you stay there, come on. Stay. Just stay. Stay, Layla. Stay. stay. You stay. You stay, little lady. Stay there until you get the command. All right, go, ahead. go ahead, Layla. Come here, Layla. Come on. Come here. Oh, now that she gets the go ahead, she doesn't even want to jump out. We got another muskrat. <laughs> right, Layla? But to be honest, the more swimming they do, the better. Get those dogs doggone tired. You know, you can go over to shore, Layla. It's probably easier than going through the lily pads. <laughs> This way, boys. Come on, Ruger. Over here. Uh oh. Oh, come on, Ruger. Ruger, come on. Oh no. Ruger, come on. Oh, they figured it out. Okay, good boys. I'm surprised Ruger came swimming out. He might actually follow the boat today. I'm just herding. I'm just herding the. Uh, I'm herding the herd. I'm herding the herding dogs. Good dogs. Come on. 
That's what I figured Rugs would do. Huh? Good boy, Rugs. Nope. <laughs> He's just like, come on, Rugs. Well, <laughs> call him over. Start paddling ahead of me. Just start paddling in front. We knew there was going to be challenges. Monty and Layla are about to face one. Oh. 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 <laughs> hey, they're doing pretty good. <laughs> Layla's doing just fine. We need to grip dry rooks. Grip dry. Come here, Monty. Yeah, it's definitely gonna be interesting trying to fish. Yeah, I was gonna say, I don't see what you're doing. Well, pro there's, a, there's a lake where I know we can uh, let them out and just do some fishing. Hey, oh, oh, oh. Okay. We're coming up to the birdage number one. Hey, boys. Okay. Okie dokie. Let's do some birdaging. Some birdaging. Monty, oh, geez. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. So as you can see, it is blue skies out right now. Uh it's about 86 degrees. It's as hot as hot can be. 86 degrees Fahrenheit. That's like 50 Celsius. Right? Layla, you're okay. You're okay, Layla. It's fine. Everyone's fine over here, okay? Hey, Layla. Layla, you're a good girl. Okay, be good girl. That's good girl. You're fine. So we're not doing much fishing right now. Um, we want to get to a spot because I don't really, I don't fish with Ruger in the boat when he's right between my legs because he likes to go for things and I don't want to hook him. Lucas is definitely not going to be fishing with Layla in the boat between his legs. So we're probably going to wait till we get to a spot where the dogs can either chill on the shoreline or we'll just see how much fishing we do. This is a this is an experiment. Layla's first time out. That's that's what the focus of this trip is, introducing Layla to this canoe trip and stuff. So we'll see how much fishing happens. We'll definitely try to catch him a fish dinner. Okay, Rubes. Rubes is leaning into me, and Monty's leaning on this side. Oh jeez. <laughs> oh jeez. Yeah, she'll get used to it. Yeah. <laughs> Prime fishing time. Did you bring a dog brush? Yeah. <laughs> I brought Funk's nice slicker brush and she was like, you be careful with that. I don't know. It's got fine little metal things that I'm... Yeah, I think I've already bent some bristles. Yeah, that's good. That's definitely what's wrong. That makes sense. Monty, what do you think about this? These guys coming on your canoe trip? Huh? You think they're... You think they're ready for this, Monty? You think they're ready? Are they going to turn into just like you? I think Ruger would be pretty good if he sat in the back. But, uh... He's the only one that can fit him between my legs, so he'll do just fine. That's a good boy. Yeah. <laughs> this is kind of working out great. Rug, lug, rug's laying down between my legs. Yeah. Rug, lug, rugs. Yeah, he's just chilling. It is a little weird. We got. Oh, this is just a, it's a disaster waiting to happen. I got Rugs leaning hard on the right side and Monty laying hard on the left side. If they both stand up at the same time, we could have a disaster on our hands. 
part of the reason I only bought one, brought one pole. I was like, if I do end up going down, I'd rather lose one pole and not two. <laughs> yeah. Rugus, what are you doing? Oh, just got the shirt wet, dunked my head. Feels pretty damn good. Layla, don't try to run me over. We can definitely take a few casts here. Where is it? If you guys want, check out my Instagram. I ju I've just posted a picture of me catching a big old 36 inch pike, my personal best to date. That was caught right here. Probably like another 100 feet up. Let's try for old time's sake before the dogs get in there. Yeah. I don't think there's any hope of me catching uh, in the middle of the day, like 90 degrees in shallow water. Ruger, you gonna get that stick? Ruger, come here. Come here, Rugs. Get the stick, Rugs. Go get the stick. Right there. The beaver home. It's a, it's a, it's a, just a gold mine of sticks. Go ahead. There you go, Rugs. He doesn't know what to do. <laughs> There's what? There's dogs everywhere. <laughs> yeah, I guess there is dogs everywhere. What are you going to do? All right. Let's catch something. I won't be satisfied with the day if I don't catch a fish. Oh yeah. The other good thing about uh, being out here is the mental stimulation of just like all the smells, sights, like Ruger does, it takes a lot to get Ruger exhausted, but you, you take him for an overnighter, when he goes home, he's out. What is that? What is that on shore? What is that? What the heck is that? Oh, it's a Rugs. Hi Rugs. What you doing, little lady? Good boy, Rugs. Come on. Come on, Monty. I don't know. They're, they got some endurance. Ruger's shooting the gap. Look at them. I never thought I'd see it. Good boy, Rugs. Good boy. I thought he was going to try to go around, but it is, it's complete swamp back there. I'm glad he didn't. This way, Rugs. Over here, boys. Yeah, come on. Yeah, that's definitely going to be one fried sausage right there. Right. <laughs> Layla, are you going to be a fried sausage? It's right here, Layla. Good dogs. <laughs> Look at you two. <laughs> oh, you little stinkers. It's just a gorgeous day, a little bit warm, but uh, that's just gonna make swimming so much sweeter. So much sweeter. We got this portage and one more for the day. At least that's the plan. We'll see if we change our minds. But yeah, let's do it. Stay there, Rooks. Back up, Monty. Ruger, right here. Rooks. All right, good boy. All aboard. All right, Monty, you're up. Go ahead. Jump in the SS good time. Joe Vessel. 
Good boy. Now I will attempt to get in as well. Ooh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Boys, I'm starting to get a dense booty too. Whoops. There goes a lure, I think. Dang, I wasn't fishing. Oh no, it's still on there. A few casts and see if I can get a bite. All right, Ruger, you leave it. This is very scary. I've never fished with a loaded down boat with Ruger in between my legs before like this. Rugs. All right, we'll try near some big down trees. I'm not gonna. You doing good, Layla? You good girl? Are you are you canoe camping, Layla? You sure are, little lady. All right, sit it down. Yeah, it'll definitely get better with time. All right, Rugs, lay down or sit. Sit. You're fine. Okay, I'm gonna cast. We got a big old down tree. We got two stinky dogs. Well, three stinky dogs, but only two in this boat. Let's see if we can get a bite. This might be a little bit of a gamble here. <laughs> Ruger's not appreciating the casting right by his face. This is definitely a risk right now. We're risking it for the biscuit. it. See how he's drinking water like that? It's because he's like anxious about <laughs> the the lure, so he's just drinking water compulsively. I mean, he's thirsty, but hes he, I feel like he's doing this more because he's anxious about me casting. All right, Rooks, twirl. Twirl, twirl. All right, good boy. All right, you're fine. I'm not gonna cast. We're gonna give it a rest. Okay, good boy. All right, good boy. That's a good boy. Yeah, you're doing great. You're doing great. There's plenty more sticks swimming. Fun ahead of us. I mean, we got a whole day. Oh, I forgot to mention, we got an early start today. I mean, wow, right? How often does that happen? It's that Captain Teeny Trout getting me up at the crack of dawn. Like, we better get out there before the sun rises, or I'm going home. <laughs> I don't think that's anybody that's a reasonable person. <laughs> Leave it, okay? Leave it. Good boy. You leave it right there. You leave it. And I, I might even treat you to something, okay? You be a good boy and you'll get great things. It's okay, Rugus. Okay, it's okay. It's okay, Rugus. Leave it, Rugs. Leave it. Good boy. It's just because he wants, he thinks this is a, a toy. Hey, leave it, Rugs. You're doing good. He thinks it's a toy that I'm throwing that he's not allowed to get. Uh oh. Don't rock the boat. Don't rock the boat, Layla. Don't rock the boat. Don't tip the boat over. Hi, Layla. Hi. Definitely way less like anxiety inducing with her up here just because. Yeah, you can control her more. Out here. Trying to get into your boat. Oh no. Why don't you just take off three? Me? No. Then I'll, go, then I'll go fish with you. Yeah? I don't know how. Oh gosh. I need to get Layla and Moose out of here and get four, do four dogs in there with loons. We got loons? Oh yeah. Ooh. Oh. We got loons up ahead. Are loons or just... Oh yeah, they're loons. Loon, loon, loon. Loon, loon, loon. <laughs> yeah. Hey loon. Ruger, leave it, leave it, leave it, leave it. 
Bruce, leave it. Leave it. Hey, Loon. How's it going? Oh, you're fine. Those loons definitely did not like us. They had little babies with them, but the babies went under and swam away. And like, we're going, we're, it's a, it's a long, narrow lake. So like, we were going right towards them, towards the portage. And uh, they don't, they were just upset. The one just came splashing around. I don't know how to tell, I'm a, I, I don't know how to tell which one's male, which one's female. But, uh, yeah, I, I don't know if it's the male's bigger or the female's bigger for loons. It was the biggest loon I feel like I've ever seen. Yeah, the one of them was, yeah, real big. The other one was small. That's probably the male. The big one? Sometimes it's like that. I know in certain animals, the females are the bigger ones. Oh, look at that. He's got a big old leech on him. <laughs> the snapper decided he wanted the perch. And you're gonna get it, buddy. I just, uh... <laughs> Look, he's got a big old leech on his back. Look at that. That's a big leech. Big old leech on his back. Look at that. That's a big leech. Big old leech on his back. Look at that. That's a big leech. Big old leech on his back. Look at that. That's a big leech. Big old leech on his back. Look at that. That's a big leech. Big old leech on his back. Look at that. That's a big leech. Big old leech on his back. Look at that. That's a big leech. Big old leech on his back. Look at that. That's a big leech. Big old leech on his back. Look at that. That's a big leech. That's a big big old leech on his back. Look at that. That's a big big leech. That's a big leech. Big old leech on his back. Look at that. That's a big leech. That's a big big old leech on his back. Look at that. That's a big big leech. That's a big leech. Big old leech on his back. Look at that. That's a big leech. That's a big old leech on his back. Look at that. That's a big leech. That's a big leech. Big old leech on his back. Look at that. That's a big leech. That's a big big old leech on his back. Look at that. That's a big leech. That's a big leech. Big old leech on his back. Look at that. That's a big leech. That's a big big old leech on his back. Look at that. That's a big that's a big leech. Big old leech on his back. Look at that. That's a big leech. Mushroom. And we got this one over here. Yeah. We're gonna go. Hey, Roos. Get the Roos. <laughs> I think this is called like poison. I can't remember. I think it's like poison oak. I feel like we rubbed our legs against this. Is that poison ivy? I know it's. I don't think it's poison ivy, but it's like senac or I don't know what it is. Definitely looks weird, and I, I, we, we might have rubbed our legs on this, and I think it's like poison oak. Just rinse it real good in the water. Yeah, we might want to, because I don't know what that is. Someone identify this, or 200 people identify this, <laughs> not just one. <laughs> and now I want 200 people to identify this. What is it? Is it a mushroom? Is it a fungi? Well, mu mu mushrooms are fungi. Is it a mungi? Is it a moss? I don't know. Smells like straight up farts. Rotten, putrid, stank farts. Stay muddy. Oh no, 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 don't get muddy. No, 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 no. Good boys. Okay. Whew. Okay. That's five portages for the day. And I think we are going to be staying on this lake today. It is beautiful, hot, sunny, calm. Uh, the bugs don't seem too terribly bad right now. So I think what we're gonna do is paddle on over yonder and jump in that water and get wet. And it's gonna feel nice. Oh my gosh, is that a Layla laying down? That's a Layla? Did she do it on her own? 
Oh my gosh, Layla, you're learning. Look at you, little lady. Look at you, that's a good puppy. Yeah, you're probably super tired. <laughs> oh, there's something jump right there. Probably a big old gill. It seemed like a long one. Yep. It was definitely a longer one. The Rugus is figuring this out too. Ah, uh, there you go. I've got a... Some yummy pond water. <laughs> mm, nothing better than the top water in the middle of a still hot sunny day. Hey, we got a loon up there. Well, here we are, boys. Okay, go ahead, Rugs. Oh. oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, Monty. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'll be by. Oh, Monty, I'm gonna drop you in the water. Oh, no, oh, no. Oh, blah. He's like, dang it. Blue was dry. I definitely didn't make them sit like this. They did this on their own. Honest to God, we did not make them sit like this. Monty just picked this spot and Ruger came and curled up right in them. These two beautiful little brothers passed out. A hard day's work. <laughs> uh, it's so precious. This is gonna be just the best thing ever. Oh, yeah, it just, it does feel amazing though. Oh my gosh. Huh? Like I'm still, huh? it's freezing. Huh? This is the coldest one I've ever been in. Hey, get away from me. Sing uh, free balling with a high pitched voice. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't like that song. Maybe he liked it, that's why. Rooks! Yeah. Rooks, come on out here. Come here. Come here, buddy. Come here, buddy. Hi. Yeah. We're all swimming. Come here, Rooks. That's a good boy. Yeah, that's a good boy. Oh, oh, don't run into each other. I know you guys like to drown each other sometimes. We're getting away this little afro on her butt. <laughs> yeah, she's a little got tough a, to hair. a booty afro. That's funny. Doggies, hi! Hi, Layla! Ruger Monty! Oh! See, now that it's like hot, it's not so bad that we're here. Right. Once you're here, you're at the campsite, everything's good. Now we don't have to swelter. Turn the leg down. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna get all my parts. You always gotta get your face before your butt. That was the same case, whatever that was. If it was a poison. Oh, yeah. Yeah, poison sumac. Yeah. I feel like that's what it was. It's something I like that. I think so. I think sumac does have like a like the berry thing going on. I don't think that's it. Maybe I don't know. I think sumac is like really rare. Layla is like a. He's got the energy of Ruger, but the laziness of Monty. Yeah, she's somewhere in the middle. She's definitely got the barkiness of Monty when they're playing. Yeah, she's a playful barker. She doesn't bark any other time except for when she's like. Yep. Playful. That's pretty much what Monty does. Monty will bark if I'm like attacking him with a sleeping pad or uh, pointing a stick at him, or if he's playing. But other than that, he's pretty quiet and chill. Or if he hears a mouse fart, then he's, then he's just. Whoo! It was like Dog Heroes or something. It was a movie all about dogs with like jobs that are like they save people, like rescue dogs. And this yeah. And that. It was really cool. One of them though was like this. They have like webbed feet, and they, I swear to God, they said this thing could tow like. Oh yeah, it was like it was an absurd number. You were telling me that it we were like thinking about it. 
I can't remember what it is. Whatever the number we is, gotta it's look like that you up. wouldn't believe it. It's an absurd <laughs> number. It's hundreds of pounds for sure. Like, you, I think it was you, like you told me like a thousand pounds. I or think so. that's what it was. It was like six times its body weight, and this is like a hundred plus pound dog. Like, yeah, it was, like, it was like ten times its body weight. It was a lot. We'll have to look into that because I, I remember you telling me that it was, it was like you're telling me this dog could pull like twenty four hundred pounds <laughs> or something uh, maybe ridiculous. It, maybe if it was a boat. <laughs> Yeah, it was a boat. chilling yeah. it's funny when they just go limp it they're just like yeah this is actually sweet yeah, it is pretty nice. it's like a life preserver <laughs> she's just like yeah <laughs> <laughs> and you got rubes over there oh, hey Lila. what do you think about canoe camping what do you what do you think about canoe camping huh you tired? <laughs> what do you think? Did you say treat? I can't tell. Did you say treat? I don't know. Like, you might have. Got something that you might like. Check this out. You know, I like nestling. Nestling? Like, nestling my gear. Oh, yeah. Nestling pots and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> What happened? No, I was just clearing the throat. I got this sent by a subscriber. Oh yeah, I saw that. And my jet boil fits just nice. perfectly into that. Just like it was meant That's to be. Amazing. It's almost like you feel like you're not even bringing anything extra. In that yeah. Okay. Yep. A little Pathfinder pot just goes perfect with that jet boil. It's only, it's a little bit tall. I bet if I take, yeah. if I take this out, oh yeah, let's just, here, put that in there. Oh, oh nice yeah, nice. It's, it's pretty close. Take a little something in the tummy. I mean, we're snacking. You guys want a snack? You guys want a snack? Snack. You guys want snack? Layla? Yeah, Layla. That's up, Layla that's up to your dad, okay? Come over here, Layla. All right, go ahead, boys. Go ahead. Layla. Oh. Are you setting up that hammock? Huh? Are you setting up or the the cot? Oh yeah. Oh. I'm gonna let you see it. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what is this sorcery? You're saying there's something better than just a, a squishy, super expensive sleeping pad? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this thing. This sleeping setup costs more than the mattress that I slept on for a it solid weighs, decade. It weighs the same amount as my chair. How is that even possible? How are you doing, Mikey? That's what he's do he popped both these sleeping pads and that's what he did on the bed. Oh yeah. You know, and it popped. He went, he was vindictive. He went into the, the, the tent, went and did that on my sleeping pad, popped it and immediately jumped to the other sleeping pad and laid down immediately. Just like he did it on purpose. Ruin that one. Better try this one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's just digging a hole. He's got to make it nice. Hmm. 
Definitely a little extra setup time. Yeah, but it's worth it. Well, we'll see. Well, I'll be the judge of that. I think Monty doesn't care about your cut. He is just <laughs> building an empire over here. You just can't get comfy. <laughs> there you go. Hey! Light on on that now. Alright, I'm gonna do it once it's with pretty nice just by itself. I'm gonna do it without the pad. It looks a little short, but like I don't extend myself fully. Can I you kinda wanna I mean what do you do? Just like you know. If you step right into one spot you will go through to the ground there. I wanna see how close to the ground you are. Oh man, that is that's that not is, bad, you know. Hey, no lick, get out of here. Get <laughs> Yeah, you're on it. I mean well, let me set. You're close. I guess. How about there? Eh, a couple inches. I don't know. It's, it's pretty comfy. It's a nice, like, platform. Oh, yeah. I could just. Once you get the pad on there, though. Yeah. Th it's comfy as is. Yeah. It's pretty comfy. I could I could definitely fall asleep like this. Yeah, for sure. And you're I'm actually a, probably, I mean. I I'm think... a side sleeper. So this is this is a little annoying for me, like having my because I got long elbows, so I have to like I have to like position yeah. it right. But once I get the sleeping pad, I think it's gonna be different. So you don't want to like just kneel in one spot. I don't assume that it's probably fine. You got your fan. You can't you can't use your breath like a normal human. No way. It's too much work. And breathing. I and I don't get all kinds of spit inside my ear pad. That's true. <laughs> I mean, I've I've I bet heard those, people. I bet those things get stinky, man. From I've heard people open. say it's gonna, you know, put air crystals in your pad, and it's gonna this and that, and like like you're saying, it's gonna get stinky. While it makes sense, it's never happened. I've gone camping in winter, all sorts of temperatures, all sorts of seasons. I've never ever seen any evidence of that actually happening. I mean, let's be real. I don't care about any of that. I'm just too lazy to blow the thing. <laughs> yeah, no, I, <laughs> no, I know. You're just, we're, we're just, you're just trying. You're just trying to say, hey, this is. My question is, how is Layla gonna react to a don't know what's going on sleeping pad attack? I don't know. <laughs> Ruger did not like that. <laughs> Ruger scared the crap out of her. Oh, Layla, I'm sorry. Ruger, Layla. stop. <laughs> My bad. Rooks, Rooks. Hey. Layla, come here. Mm. Come here, Layla. Come here, Layla. <laughs> she, she almost didn't react and react until Ruger barked. She scared her. Messing up Captain Tini Tro's tent. It's rude. It's rude. <laughs> Still gotta be a clear night. Yep. Alright. That is gonna be comfortable. Okay. We we're just setting up here. I'm sleeping under the stars like this. This is my bug weather setup for sleeping under the stars. And then what we got? Two hours and 40 minutes of light left. We might do some fishing towards evening. Right now, we're just kind of taking our time. It's so hot out, we're just relaxing, enjoying ourselves, trying out his fancy a cot here. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we're gonna probably collect up some firewood here. Dogs are just chilling. And uh, yeah, we'll check back in with you a bit. We're just gonna relax and set up. So that's it. Just give her. Oh yeah, that's some hair. Oh, yeah. oh. <laughs> look at, look oh at gosh. Oh god. That's some hair.
He's just gonna have this fancy set up. Yeah, I want to get a picture of Layla in here chilling with the lights on. This is for her, not me. <laughs> is it? <laughs> it is. Well, I'm looking all for I you. bought these so long ago and I've never used them, but now I was like, Layla's gonna be out here. I'm getting a picture of her with the lights up. Get this out of here. I'm ready to sleep on this comfy thing. <laughs> so, like. this count. Right. right now. Right? I feel like no. there's like a lot of stuff. Watch out, dogs. I'm looking for maximum comfort. Oh, geez, already. Even with it blown up, I normally have to take out some air. Ooh, that is pretty comfy. <laughs> Hi, Rubes. Hi. Not bad, right? Hi. Hi. That is pretty. Get Rube down my face. Get out of here. Bad. Hey, hold on, Rube. Let me just enjoy this for a minute, okay? Rugus, stop licking the salty skin. <laughs> stop it. Hey, don't look at my face. All right, yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna let out some air like I would normally. Yeah, I mean you're kind of on an angle, but it looks like it is a little slippery. You're coming yeah, it's, you're gonna have to make it level, but still, I will <laughs> say like, that. so. First of all, it is way comfier because like normally my pad is firm on the ground, but this is like giving that give. Yeah. So it like makes it so like even though my pad's blown up and it feels kind of hard, it's like it's got that slight squish, so I can. Bl <laughs> you're sliding all over the thing. Yeah, like your feet are it's just your feet are. Coming. See, that's that's the only problem is like I do this like. I do this constantly. <laughs> so if it's not level. Too. That's what I was going to say. Like I feel like down but downgrading like, the pad might be. Like you were it. saying, that felt like a bed. That yeah, felt pretty right. comfy. I I would find it, if I get one, if. <laughs> I don't know. So the problem is, I, w I, w I looked into these ever since he mentioned it, and there's a version that is twice the weight, but it's got the option to put leg extension so it's like a, a full-blown cot that you can stick stuff underneath. Now that will be great for the hot tent, especially deer camp when we need all the room. But this is a little tent here. You're gonna want the shorter version. So it's like, can I? Can you justify the two and a half pounds and it's more expensive? I don't know, we'll, we'll see. Oh yeah. Always oh, sleeping good tonight, boys. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so excited to use this. <laughs> I'm gonna hear you just ripping logs, and I'm gonna be jealous. That is pretty comfy, though. I I don't know. I don't know if I can help myself. I don't. I just don't know. I knew you were coming out. Yeah, I know. I know. I needed this. I needed this, Monty. I was sweating. And you guys are stinky doggy, so you might as well do a little more swimming. We don't want you. Yeah, well, come here, come here. Stay, stay, stay. Come here, little boy. What's this? Okay. There you go. What is killing you, Luke? Come on, that's what you were doing before. Come on, Rubes. I'll stay there. It's okay. It's okay. Let me just hold your butt up. Good boy. Yeah, that's chilling. Isn't that nice, Rubes? Yeah.
That was naughty. <laughs> Fish and Layla? Fucking straw wrapper. Oh. Actually, you know what? We're not going to bring the second paddle because I don't think we're going to be. Even if we lost it, we'd be fine right now. All right. Alright. Roots? Come on, right here. Right here. Oh boy. Alright, Monty. Uh, she's gonna lose her shit if I bring a fish on this boat. I love it anyway. I wanna be close to shore. I didn't bring anything in my pocket, like I'm ready for this thing That's to capsize when a fish has landed. Come on. Well, go ahead, Monty. Go ahead, big papa. Big daddy. Okay. Let's go catch fish. Burger, oh. I'm sorry, there's only one pad. All right, we are heading out for the evening fish. I left my watch on the shoreline, but the sun is getting close to setting. Let's see what we can pick up. I don't know if we're gonna keep anything. We don't need fish for our dinner. Well, let's see what happens. I just would have never thought a Rugi Tugi would just be laying down all willy nilly, willingly, whatever you want to say. You're such a good boy, Rugi. You, I think you know you appreciate this, don't you? How will we catch a fish? We're gonna see how you act then. All right, you want to catch a fish? Well, I'm gonna catch a fish. You, you just, you just watch. You're gonna get a front row ticket. You know? It's okay. You got that furled lip. I'm gonna catch a fish, okay? Look at your little teavers. Why is that? Oh god, I didn't like that. Bruce, I know that wasn't the best thing ever. Alright, man, Bruce. Rugs. Rugs. You're gonna have to leave it. You're gonna this is a part of being a canoe adventure dog. A big part of it is fishing. Okay? You know what I mean? So, I mean if you want to continue to do this, you gotta you gotta accept the fishing for what it is. Oh, there we go. I felt to take that one. I was just dinking around. Ooh, this feels like a log. I think we got a Mr. Pike right now. Oh, this feels like a nice pike. Whatever it is, it's not fighting. It is just pulling. Ooh. Ooh, I, I think I got something decent. I think it's a pike. Oh, it's definitely a pike. Ooh, that's a... That's a good sized pike. Ooh, this thing is about to take off. What is it? Why is it so slow? It's about 24 incher. Nothing huge. Oh, 
It's right in the corner of his mouth. Rugus. I don't want to lose it. Oh, I got the lure out of his mouth. I might be good. Ooh, that's a that's a nice pike. That's this is healthy. But he is so slow moving. Oh, oh geez. Oh. Okay. That's a decent pike right there. Oh, simmer down, simmer down, simmer down. Simmer, 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 simmer. Well, that's like a, that's like a 28 inch pike. Look at that guy. Oh, I'm getting slime all over my legs. Oh, geez. I don't know what is going on with this pike, but he is like slow moving. He's all right, all right, all right, right there, Skipper. <laughs> okay, let's let this guy go. It's definitely like a 28 to 30 inch pipe. So that last pike I just cast out like this and I was dinking around paddling. Just let it sink. Felt it nail it. Let's just try that again. When all else fails, you must whop or plop. Whop your plop. It's not too bad, Rogues. All right, Layla's about to meet. Is that her first fish? She's seen fish. What is that? A crop of noise. Oh, goodness. good girl, Layla. Ah, Layla, get in the boat. Stay. Oh my God. Layla, get back. Leave it. Leave it, Layla. Oh my goodness. Layla, leave it. You're tipping the boat. Leave it. Leave it. Oh my god. Okay. Leave it. Look it. Look it. It's just a fish. Relax. Good girl, Layla. A little, little baby largemouth. Isn't that cute, Layla? And I will release him very gently. Goodbye. Farewell. Yeah, that was a pretty nice 31 inch pike I got earlier. Oh, there we go. Oh, that's a mess. That's a booby. Boobithy. Booberto. Boobit. Bubba. Oh. Oh, that's a jump. Hooey. Oh, that's a <laughs> That was a bass fart. That was a bassy fart. <laughs> la, 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 loon. Bobby and a Peter. Bobby and a Peter. Ruger, you did pretty good there. But, uh, that's a nice fish right there. Ruger, you gonna give him a kiss? It's kind of gross, don't you think? Let's let him go.
another one on the flapper. Looks like a pike. Oh, hello. Not a pike. Ah, Layla. Layla, sit. 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 It is a foul hooked bass. Layla, sit. Sit. Jeez. Goodness, Layla. Hook up there. Come here. Layla, leave it. Layla, get back. Please stop. Have to kill him. He's got a mouthful of hook. Layla. Oh, you better sit. Your big butt. Layla, leave it. Please. Come here. Scooch. Gotta show the camera. A little nicer than the first one. <laughs> Layla, you don't like it, do you? Okay, bye bye. Sorry, buddy. There it is. Another little feller. Just another little boy. Crazy. Layla, sit. Sit. Layla, leave it. Leave it. Just a little fella. Say bye, Layla. He's got a belly, though. Also, I know it sounds like I'm probably yelling at her and like I'm being mean to her, but that is not the case. This is all just very exciting for her, and you definitely have to use stern commands when, when you know, you're trying not to flip your boat. So, I'm not being mean to her. She gets plenty of love. She's a good girl. But, you know, if I'm trying to land a fish, she starts acting crazy, I'm gonna get a little firm with her. Tell her how to act right. She's having a good time. Not many dogs are as chill as Monty. You could just throw them in a boat, they just lay down, and just hang out for hours on end. That's, that's not a normal dog. He's a wild animal, but he's tamed. He's a pretty girl. Here we go. There it is. Oh, it's a nice booby. There it is. A booby bus. Oh, there we go. And a booby. Hey, little bobbies. <laughs> this bobby's nicer than the last bobby. Bobby. Bobbit. Oh. There you go, Rooks. Oh, that guy's got a messed up gill. Ah, yes. The joy of catching another fish. Quite the thing. Oh, it's hard to explain the feeling that you get. But when you catch another fish, you don't feel good. We're just gonna let him go. See ya. It's getting too dark for fish release cams right now.
mosquitoes are coming out. All right. Hey, Lila. Yeah, really, I mean, she was chilling this whole time over there. As long as we get the party boat, she wants on board. The party barge. Burger's doing very well just laying down right now. When I'm casting, he starts to get... She was, a, she was fine. When I was cast, or when I brought the fish in, she definitely was way over the edge of the boat. Oh. Like, what? I'm gonna put on some bug lotion just to be safe. I ain't trying to, uh... <laughs> Look at those eyes. That's a good girl. That's a good girl. All right. There's nothing better than a redemption story. <laughs> Sir Captain Teeny Trout here needs to redeem himself. <laughs> I've never been good with the backs of these knives. Hey, I just heard you 30 seconds ago say, well, with birch bark, it's easy. <laughs> whoa, 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 aren't you gonna... Actually, no, I'm not going to give you any. No. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to light this birch bark. you gotta, my... you got to crumple the birch bark and get okay, it so it's okay, powder, okay, you know? Okay, okay. I'll take it from a pro. <laughs> I wouldn't say I'm a pro, but I've definitely started you, a few. You've done the one strike, so. Yeah, the legendary one strike. Oh, this is just wadding it up. There we go. That's it might good. be wet because it was in my pocket. That's and a I... little bit. Uh, oh, yeah, there we go. Give me some wet birch bark. Hey, you can, you can start. Hmm? Come on. Ooh, so close. There we go. There you go. Now you want it. The best thing you can do with the fire is smother it. Mm-hmm. That's my just signature. Stuff right on top of it. Okay. Okay. Where are my twigs go? <coughs> oh, I literally just ate a mosquito. <coughs> I'm gonna take this. Just because Layla's putting her cute little face down, I don't want her to like rest it on a knife. Yeah. I'm gonna leave here with a knife in your eye, Layla. Yeah, Layla. Ooh, yeah, she's just gonna steal my stick. You want one? Her big, beautiful eyes would just pop. You want one? So Layla definitely needs her own towel. Layla? Oh, yeah. Just trying to think of other things I would have brought. I was. I didn't even do a checklist, I just started throwing oh, shit in no, the pile. This, when I go camping like this, I literally just grab stuff and I'm just like, eh. That's kind of how I was. That's why I forgot an algae. Yeah, it's fine. Alright, Rook, since you just came right up, and Monty's big booty over there is just lazy, you get the first, the first run, since you're being a good boy and you haven't gone back in the water once. So please, don't go back, okay? Don't go back there, big guy. Yes, don't do it. So tonight we're gonna try a new brush. It's Funk's Fancy Slicker Brush. She said to try it. She said, this is what you need. And then I was like, taking it. And she's like, don't take my nice brush. And I was like, I'll, I won't break it. <laughs> and then she was like, you're gonna probably break it. I was like, okay, I'll buy you a new one if I do. And that was what made it fine. So this is now the camp brush. Yeah, I mean, as long as I don't ruin it, we're good. But the only thing I worry about is those, I'm going to definitely smash those bristles <laughs> in my bag. Here, Monty. Yeah, they like the towel. Yeah, I think Layla, I ordered one of those dryer things you guys got. Oh, did you get the big one? Uh, I don't think it's as nice as yours, but it's like in the middle of the road. I think it was a hundred and something... It wasn't, there's was like some $60, $70 ones on there. I went better than that. But yeah, that'll be nice because I don't like to bathe Layla because she's still, she's just, you know, that wet dog smell. They don't smell good until they're dry and with her, yeah. like, she's wet and it just stays wet, wet. Like, that's what I was saying. I, I gave her a bath and like her neck is still, you got to get in there. Like you got to scratch it with your fingers and then if you smell your fingers, it's like they definitely still have some funk on them. Like, it's just her neck, though. Everywhere else is totally fine. But I mean, yeah, she she, she did it to herself. Then, yeah, she could have had an easier day, but I know she was when she's swimming distance like that. It's wearing her out. Like she was working. I 
I could hear her breathing hard. I felt bad. And, like I wanted her to. Have tomorrow. An easier time, but I think she'll be better about just chilling in the boat. She's not gonna have a. Uh, the, we're gonna want to make them swim right in the morning from here over there because they're not gonna have an opportunity after that yeah. to where it can't be at. Because the the next lake is it's like you don't really swim and then the lake we're gonna try to stay on is way too big to swim across. I know, Monty. All right, so it's official. Whatever this brush is is not the right brush for this because this is definitely worse for drying them out. So they're going to be stinky dogs that need baths. Ooh, look at that. What? Fancy. Oh my gosh, look at this guy. <laughs> this is Captain Teeny Trout's take on wilderness camping. He's got the lights in here. He's got, I don't know, you can't really see it, but there's a cot in there with a sleeping pad. <laughs> He's got this, let's just, we got to hit the lights. I mean, really look, roughing it. look at the size of that pillow. I mean, <laughs> I think my pillow at home is smaller than that. I mean, look at it in here. He's got even a, a carpet on the floor. What is that? It's Egyptian cotton. <laughs> it's Egyptian cotton. <laughs> <laughs> oh. And then, yeah, the lights. You even put it up in a little square pattern. That's so fancy. Oh, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Monty, it's okay, it's okay. All right, come on. We gotta do this. <laughs> oh, oh, Monty, I'm not even pulling. Look, I'm barely, I'm going so light. I'm, I'm going so light. Monty, I'm barely brushing. I'm not even brushing. Fine, I guess you're staying wet. So for dinner tonight, we are having ribeye steaks and instant mashed potatoes. Oh, not just, I'm gonna, any, uh, not just any ribeye. $25 oh, ribeye. Oh, yeah. Apparently, beef is through the roof. Yeah, something is going on with beef. Uh, when he told me we have like $25, $30 steaks, I was like, uh, or would you get like three pounders? They're like, yeah, not even, I don't know. Yeah, they're, they're probably not even a pound. Something's going on with beef where it's insanely priced. So what we've got here, before we have our delicious dinner and before we start cooking, we are going to give the Matthew Posa official, authentic, expert, professional, super duper beer review. These were some Icicle Brewing Company, Alpine, Alpine Haze, Hazy IPA uh, brewskis that were sent to me by a subscriber. So, I'm going to give my beer review. Like I, I tell you already, IPAs are the worst kind of beer. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but I'm going to drink it anyways. Because <laughs> ain't no beer like a free beer. Mm. Well, it smells kind of... It's got like a... A beer smell to it. Yeah, it's definitely IPA. I mean, this actually isn't bad for an IPA. I mean, oh, oh yeah, this isn't a bad IPA. It tastes like beer. Yeah, this is beer, hundred percent. I mean, it's six percent, but hundred percent or six hundred percent, six point three percent beer. <laughs> it definitely tastes like beer. Mm. I am gonna say ten out of ten. It tastes like a beer. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> All right. Ooh, this thing is pretty, pretty hot and rusty. Yeah, we're gonna wanna. Yeah, we're gonna wanna take like a stick and like clean that because we don't got tin foil. Yeah. Two ribeyes here. One is nice and thick and fat, and the other one is. Kind of on the yeah. thinner side. Yeah. So what we're gonna do? I don't know who picked those out. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna split them up down the middle evenly. So we're gonna sprinkle a little Montreal here. So wait a minute. Are we splitting them because you're concerned about portion? 
No. Okay. I would say more so because one's going to be a little juicier than the other. Because they were the same exact, about the same exact price. They're the same size. I mean, if you want the thinner steak, I will totally take the thicker one, but I'm assuming we both want the thick one because it's that just... That makes sense, yeah. I like a thicker... St this one's going to, like, cook faster. <gasps> I have tongs, too. Do you want those? Oh, now you offer the tongs, huh? Now that I've already burnt myself. Wouldn't have fingers if it wasn't for me. Ah! Yeah, them great marks on there. Like, <laughs> it's, it's... It looks like tar. Ah! It's like black top. Ah! <laughs> Where's those tongues? Lucas! <laughs> Alright. Oh! Oh, you're clinking them. <laughs> Oh, oh, I'm gonna put this one. Dang it, I kinda need that spoon though. Like this? Yeah. Oh, and I just put the raw meat on it? As fast as a jet. Probably as much as I could if I was just Ooh. rinsing it in the water. That is a that is a steak cooking right there. I don't think my cutting board. Is <laughs> it's pretty small. You hmm. slice it. I'll so the left side has got a little more meat. fat. Wait. <laughs> what? Nothing. Oh, rub this thing in the dirt. Remember, I'm not gonna, probably gonna silently judge you if you, you think you can, you think you can pull fast on me. So, this right side's definitely the one. <laughs> For you? I definitely, now that I'm looking at it, I think it was a little lopsided. Whatever, you give me one and I'll take it. Alright. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Mm -hmm. How is she? Not bad. Yeah, it's hard to go wrong with a ribeye, even if it's overcooked and thin. It don't, it don't really matter. That's pretty juicy, though. So. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Not bad at all. Mm -mm. Mm. Layla, come here. Layla. Like this? Layla, come here. This is a good amount of food. I don't want... Ugh, this is way more than a cup and a half. Alright, Monty, come over here. Come over here, Monty. Layla, come over okay. here. All right, Monty, over here. Over here, sit. Come here. Stay. I'm sorry, you already ate your dinner, Layla. I'll give you some potatoes. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> They're like simultaneous, just like. Whoa. You're okay, Layla. You made your dinner. Ah, I bit my cheek. <laughs> no. Don't you lick my potatoes. Okay. Again. That's that's definitely done. Layla, get away from there. Get <laughs> Yeah, we can do that. Ooh, that's pretty good. We'll leave that for ya. We'll take this right here. Alright, this is... You just give me some of this for the dogs. Okay. 
Let's do that. I think the first one was better. I took like a, I had no fat on my piece though. And the first one? Mm hmm. Well, I had the, I had a fan a little fat. Okay. Let's just. All right. It is time to feast on the second steak. Get back, Monty. Back up. All right. Sit. Stay. All right. Go ahead. Go ahead, boys. All right. They're getting their second. Row of steak. It is my turn to feast on all my food. Let's get some mashed potatoes. Hey. No. For a hawk. All right, let's see. I'm going to take the big, juicy. Mmm. This one's like definitely like greasier, fattier. I think it's chewier. I. I don't like as much fat though, so I think that's why I like the first one. This one was definitely fattier. It might have been your half. This place is tender. It's tender. I'll do that. Mmm. I, mean, I don't know if you can have all that. It's a lot. I'm know. all about that second one. Do you want to give this to Monty or? I don't want to give her anymore. She's had a couple nice chunks. I'll throw if you want to split it, you can split it and give it to these boys. There you go. There you go. Yeah, clean that plate. You already know. Here, get my fingers. You don't want a town on that thing. Get the grease off. That thing looks brand new. Mm. Here you go, Layla. Get that. Clean my fingers. All right, we're finished eating. Relax, watch the stars, because they're out. And um, I'll take you in a bit. Steak success. Oh, it's morning. Oh. I did not sleep very good last night. It took me forever to fall asleep. Oh, hi, Layla. Yeah, I think it's because I... I laid on that dang cot, and then I was just jealous of the comfiness. And I couldn't get comfortable. Had to be it. Damn your cot. <laughs> Can't sleep without one and you never even had one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's time to get up. It's a beautiful morning. Hey, Layla. You're a monster when you were let out the tent this morning. What was she doing? Just when she was chasing the squirrels and 
when we let him out. She's running around. Yeah, she came right up to my tent and tried to get in. She was like, "I was just, I was on a slight slant, and my my hip was like digging into the ground, and it was like it was like a poison. Once I laid on that cot, it was game over. All I wanted was that cot. All right." Since we're, uh, I'm a little sleepy this morning, we're doing lazy breakfast. You know, normally we we do some scenes. I'm doing it lazy style today. I didn't even have any oatmeal or anything, so Lucas brought me a mountain house breakfast skillet. And I'm not even going to pay him for it. <laughs> uh, what, what do I need to do here? Monty, you want breakfast, don't you? Are you hungry, Monty? Oh, I bet you are. Oh, oh, that's a yes. Okay, I'll feed you first. That's right. right Rugus, go ahead, Rugus. Monty, back it up, back it up, back it up, back it up. All right, go ahead, boy. Good boys. Need it. All I need is a big old cup of strong. Hey! Whoa, she just. <laughs> she in your guys' food bag? <laughs> Wait, what is it? Living lawless out here. <laughs> there are no rules for Layla. Layla. <laughs> yeah. Hey, 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 hey. You, I you think cool she is like ravenously nugget. hungry. Too. She hasn't been this physical, like this much exercise in her life, probably. <laughs> there are no rules. It's all free. <laughs> it's all free. <laughs> the flavor is just the wateriness of it. Like, even if it were a plain cream, I guess all cream has like sugar in it, but. No, it does not. Shoot, I don't even know where. I'm gonna have some biscuits. I don't know if it's right at all. Layla's definitely gotten over her. Uh Thing with me casting them. Oh really? Yeah. She doesn't really care anymore. Well that's good. That was quick. Yeah. But or Ruger still cares. How many times has he been out with you fishing? Um decent amount. But she was interested in the fish. Mm-hmm. Well the at least you won half the battle. I think I've done the biscuits and gravy too many times. I'm have to mix it up. I might start doing oatmeal. I I feel like every trip I always bring oatmeal and I never eat it, but like I love my oatmeal. It's a good hearty breakfast. Like that is like as you know, like an oatmeal, that's gonna come out a nice clean, solid poop. This I beg to differ, but yeah, I guess. I mean, <laughs> when you have a T-bone or a, a ribeye and whatever yeah. else the night before. Nothing's going to hold that together. This just feels like it weighs me down. Like I feel like mm -hmm. I could eat some oatmeal and like not feel like, you know, I just drank a bunch of gravy. Mm. Not bad. Oh, yeah. Oh, ha ha! <laughs> Lava. I think I need to sit for a minute. Oh, that was hot. <sighs> Damn. Right there, Ruger. Layla, hi. <laughs> I think she's gonna be a totally different dog in the boat today. Hopefully. I'm gonna try to get Mont or Ruger. I don't think he's gonna swim. 
but I'd like to get him to swim. Anyways, there's an, it's enough recording us in this position. Uh, I'm going to eat my breakfast here, drink my coffee. And we're just going to chill out for a bit, and then we're going to pack up and get moving. Okay, puppy. Hi, Critter. Are you a happy dog? Come here. Yeah. We've got... A oh. vanilla cold brew, Ooh. nitro cold brew, and a dark cocoa sweet cream cold brew. Heck yeah. You want to split them or what are we doing here? You want one? Yeah. And then you can choose, I don't care. Vanilla sweet cream. <gasps> sweet, thank you. Uh huh. Premium coffee drink. We got our Starbucks. We got pumpkin spice lots. I need to take an, a selfie. <laughs> I guess I, I think you actually might be supposed to. Yeah, you're supposed to like gently shake it before you open. Okay. It. Careful though, because the dark cocoa is definitely tastes like chocolate milk. Oh yeah, it's not bad. Ooh, yeah, ooh. we're definitely um, we're gonna want to drink all this today. Yeah, we. This guy's always bringing out coolers, <laughs> ice cold Coca Cola, little sausage cracker cheese trays. <laughs> Living large. Oh, she's. It's just so cozy. She couldn't make up her mind this morning. She kept wanting in and out. And like she literally just comes up she, when she wants out, she just starts bashing the walls of the tent with her head. Just trying to slam her way out. She does what she wants. Oof. I'm gonna go make a poop and we are gonna see what comes out. Monty, come here, come here, go over here. Can dogs be allergic to bees? Uh, probably, yeah. Let me see, where'd it get you? Where'd it get you? Monty, hey, 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 it's okay. Monty bit the one of the wasps. Looks like it's on his tongue or the roof of his mouth. Stay there, it's okay. Hey, I'm here to help. Where'd it get you? Oh. Ooh, that could be that right in the center roof of his mouth. I can't tell. All right, boys. Come on, let's go. This way. Oh, Monty, don't do that. Come on, Luke. Come on. Come on. Good boys. On roots. We're going straight across here. Come on, Monty. Come on, Ruger. Monty, this way. Oh, Monty! Mm. 
that thing recording? Oh, hey, Monty. All right, so we've got a couple portages to take care of today. We've got a hot, sunny, blue skies day. There's a few clouds up there, but uh, it's nice so far. It's super hot. Rugs is uh, back on shore staring at us right now. I'm going to let Monty get across, and I'm going to go pick him up. Rugs is refusing to come across. Come on, Rugs. See you, Rugs. Have a good one. I feel so vulnerable. Good boy, Monty. Ruger hasn't moved. He's just like, he'll come and get me, I swear. I know he'll come back. And he's right, that little turd. Actions will be justified. So, I'm trying not to jinx it by talking too loud. But as soon as I got to shore, a certain little critter decided he might have been being left behind and he's just made the crossing. And this is a first for Ruger. He's never uh, swam across a gap and he just did it. That's him right there in the water. Good boy, Rugs. There he is. Hey, Rugus. But he was just sitting over there and as soon as we got to the shore, he kind of moved a little bit and then he just decided this is a huge step for him. Once he realizes that this is okay, and if we can get him to do it again sometime, like, this is huge. Good boy, Roos, come here. Good boy. That was huge, Mr. Roos. You're such a good, you're such a good boy. Good boy, Roos, hi. I hope you're not too mad at me. Good boy, Rugs. Hi, good boy. Good boy, yeah. Good boy, Rugs. Good boy. I, I just want it to be known that I know Rugs is a good swimmer. He's a great swimmer. He's not sure of himself, but I had the boat ready to cruise over in case I uh, I couldn't mess up the uh, the moment because if I would have gotten that boat, he would immediately turned around. So. He did good. Ruger, come here, Rooks. You're such a good boy. I'm so proud of you, Rooks. I'm so proud of you, you wet doggy. I'm so proud of you. That's a good boy. That's a good boy. You know what? You deserve a stick throw. You ready for a stick throw? Quick. A quick stick. A quick stick. Good boy. Go get it, boys. Go get it, Monty. Good doggies. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, let me go first. Why is she tripping me, there lady? Oh jeez. Layla, Layla's lawless.
Okay, we are sweating. We are on our lake for the evening. Uh, we're not letting the dog swim across this one because we're gonna go right across the middle. But uh, yeah, we're gonna paddle across to camp and then probably jump in this water because it is just a beautiful blue skies day. The work for the day is done. We've got a cool cooler that Lucas is so happy. Oops, sorry Monty, I just elbowed Monty in the face. All right, no look. No, no licking my sweaty, salty skin. That's gross. Don't worry, we're gonna get you guys. We're all gonna go swimming. We're gonna do great. Great things are coming. So yeah, we'll be doing some fishing later. But for now, it's getting over there. Getting out of this hot heat for a second, then getting back into it in the water. That was some soup nasty portaging. Posa said there was one medium portage. That was like mile plus of just swampy beaver. I rubbed a spot on my toe. I don't know if you can see it, but that man, that just hurt. Oh, look at them chicken toes. Yeah, that little red spot, it was just rub raw and it was just burning the whole time. You got a first name picked out for her yet? Lawless Layla, first mate Lawless Layla. Oh jeez. Monty, your booty swings a lot of weight and I don't appreciate when you just flop down like that. Huh? Oh, I got it, I got it. First mate, zero fluffs given. Yeah, have you seen the bottom of my feet? <laughs> oh. Yeah, you got baby feet. I got reptile feet. I got like, <laughs> yeah, they're they're haggard on the bottom. You think these little patches are rough? Wait till you see the bottom of my feet. Ooh, tasty. You mean there's a couple sands with all the face and muck. Oh, the testes. Oh. Hi, puppet dogs. The puppet dogs. Demanty dog. Monty, look at your little tail. Is that even a. What is that? It's like a little twig. A little rat tail. A little rat tail. Well, actually, look at that little thing. <laughs> I see pictures of Layla when she was a puppy. Her tail was so gross looking. Oh, there is just a chilly. Ooh, it's chilly right here. This lake gets a little deep.
Well, just what's better than this? Huh? So you're saying this lake's not that great of fishing? Huh? You're saying this lake wasn't that great for fishing? No, this one's good. I mean, there's just all the little bass and gills and perks. That Layla's had her way. Yeah, but they're still hanging. I see those little ones. I feel like they don't they just act all the time. They just don't care. I'm about to catch me a Layla. She's, she's yeah, chasing my lure. We're doing another official beer review here. Got sent another brewski. I think it was one of the same. What, I, I can't remember the same person. The other or one different. was. Um, it was a like beery was tasting like, IPA. I'm trying to think of the brewery. It was like Icicle or something like that. or. There's probably Northern Icicle Snow Winter. <laughs> this one's North Country Brewing. The other one was probably Northwest Country Brewing. Yeah, Ice like Brewing. That. North Coast. We've got a Sour Berries, Slippery Rock, Pennsylvania, Blueberry Cobbler. Hmm. This sounds better than the last one. We got a pint. I'm gonna try my best to split this. Ooh, it smells That's berry. Fruity looking. Yeah. It's actually really good. It's very fruity. I think you got. I don't think I got half here. Hmm? <laughs> I don't think I got half. Now that I look at it, I'm just, I'm just kidding. Feel. It's fine. Let me see. Yeah. I mean, that's, it feels like it's like mm. right. No, I'm just kidding. This is good though. I actually like this. It's a sour. I like sours. Mm -hmm. But you know, that is sour. Sour beer, blueberry sour beer. It definitely tastes ten out of ten, like a sour beer. <laughs> mm-hmm. No, this is a good summer. This is a nice hot weather. I could drink these in the sun all day. That IPA, that's a little heavy. I don't know, you'd probably want to pair that with like a, you know, a big steak oh. or something. I guess we, we had it with steak. Monty. I don't know, what does an IPA go good with? When you want to drink a beer? Yeah, this is like refreshing. This is, this is like a, a fruity juice. Layla and Monty are just the bug police. Mm-hmm. If it's just a, a horse fly, it's fine, but if it's a wasp, I don't want him going after it. Monty got definitely upset, like he is ready to attack now. Where's that stupid thing? I'm gonna get it, and I'm gonna kill it. It will not be tested. Whoever you are, if you happen to know where this is, and you're the person that cut this branch at this place, I don't like you. I loved this branch. It was perfect for hanging my water right from here. I'll have previous videos hanging just like towels, and it was a perfectly straight branch. It went right across right here. If you're watching this, me and Monty disapprove, and we shame you. You should, you should feel shame for cutting this branch off this tree. The amount of disappointment I, I feel in this moment is too much to handle. <sighs> Shit. Hey, Here, I got an idea. I got an idea. There's a bite.
Hey Rugs, there's a high chance you're gonna help the fishing along the reeds because you're so stealthy. Stealth, it's the name of Ruger's game. Hey, Rooks. Hey, buddy. Rooks, stay there. Hey, stop it. You gotta, you gotta let me fish first before you go up, okay? And how else am I gonna catch the fishies? Oh, oh, we got something. What is that? Something small. Oh. Oh, it's a bass. That's not too small. Ooh. <laughs> Roots. <laughs> Good boy, Roots. You helped me catch that one. Nice little bobby. Let's let him go. Who wants to get towel dried first? Who's who's up? Is it is it Rugs? I can't tell if Rugs or Monty won. I think a Rugs won. I think a Rugs won. I think a Rugs won. Even though Rugs will go back in the water soon. I think a Rugs won. I think a Rugs won. I think a Rugs won. won, but he'll go. Back in the water soon, look at that booty. We're drying that booty. We're drying that dog. Now Monty is gonna take this opportunity to completely dry out. And he doesn't want to get back in that water. Because he is a big fluff monster. Mm. Oh, it's greasy in the second pass. Ready? It's definitely floaty. Oh. It is. It's super lightweight. Ruger is not a fan. He's gonna oh yeah, he's going to rip a hole right in it. I'm just like, here, let's take your brand new cotton. Let's throw it. You're just like, oh. Yeah. It sounds nice if bugs didn't exist. <laughs> if bugs didn't exist. Yeah. Hey. I was, oh, I guess Monty never got back in. So as you can see, we are back into boat fishing. Uh, it, if you know, there's been a lot of chilling at camp when it's just super hot and we've got all the dogs with us. You know, we don't really want to make them sit out in the sun, um, but uh, right now we've got about an hour and a half of, of light. Ruger, if you don't sit down, we're going to flip the boat. Sit. Sit. Good boy. As I was saying, now the sun's not so hot and high in the sky. It'll start to set fast and get a little cooler. But they've been wet and stuff, so they're fine for the time being. But like an hour ago and before that, I didn't really want to have them in the boat. Because it is just too hot. But now it's finally bearable for me, so... It'll be bearable for the boys. You got this guy that just won't stop chasing lures. And you got this guy that won't stop chasing dreams. Dream on, Monty. Dream on, you big, cute, floofy, poofy. Ruger, you're doing great. It's just, there's a few things, okay? 
Sit down. Lay down. Lay. Lay down. Good boy. What was that? Oh, I got something. There we go. Feels like a bass. Ooh, it's gotta be a bass. Oh yeah. There we go. All right, sit down, Rooks. Sit down. It's okay. It's just a bass. Sit down. Sit. Good boy. Oh! Ooh. He's blind in one eye. Check this out. See, there's his normal eye. And there's his definite blind eye. Like, that is very obvious. I mean, that's that stinks, but he's decent size for now. Oh, look at the baby. It's just a little boy. Wait, let's leave it. It's a little feller. Hey. It's had one and it spit it. Trying to turn the camera on. We'll get another one. There's a bunch of tiny bass up in these weeds that you guys can't see. But believe me, there's some weeds. There's one. There we go. The little feller. Oh, it's a big old bluegill. Dang, that's not bad. Okay. Ooh, 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 ooh. I don't think I've ever put a bluegill on a stringer. Right. Layla. Oh, you better sit. Layla, sit. Oh, I said a bite. Dang. Oh, there it is. Something small. Little Bobby Jr. Royce, sit down. Did you lick it? Ew. Don't lick the fishies. What is that? Are you gonna fish instantly? Oh, it bit it the second it touched the water. I thought I got a snag. Oh, it's a little baby Bobby Jr. What's that? Little Bobby. Oh, jeez. Oh, look out, Layla. Got us another nice bluegill. Look at that. Layla, watch out. There's a nice bluegill in here. That's a solid nine and a half inch bluegill. Not bad. Too bad we ain't eating them. Got another tiny bass. There's plenty of these. Oh, hello, Layla. Leave it. Good girl. Goodbye. The tip of my tail. This is like a three inch tail. If this was like a one inch and like a 32, 30 second ounce jig, I'd just be killing these bluegills, but they're hitting this thing like crazy. They just can't quite get a hold of it. But it's the smallest I got, so. Oh, look at this giant bluegill. Things the size of my head. 
JK. Bye bye. They keep getting the dang tail. There we go. There we go. Feels small again. Could be a panfish though. Oh, it is. There we go. That's one for the boys. Yep, we're gonna keep that for the boys here. That's a decent size. It's a monster. It's a monster. Brugus, what's this? Is this a baby Bobby Jr.? There you go. See, that's why you never cast like this. The proper way to cast an open face reel is to open the bale, pinch the line with your right hand, and cast with your left hand. Anybody who casts with their right hand if you're right-handed, that's weird. Hey, Ruger, stop it. You're not supposed to do that. You never want to cast with your right hand. Always pinch the line like this and then throw it together. That is the proper way to cast a, uh, a fishing pole. Good boy. You stay there and you can watch it now. Isn't that nice? Yeah. So just stay there. Be a good boy. We got a big old down tree. Oh, that was either a bite or a snag potential. Oh, there we go. We got something. Ooh, that's got to be a booby. Let's go be a burbert. Ooh. Rugus. 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 Rugus, sit down. Rugus, sit down. Well, let's do Bobby. Look at that, another tiny bass. Oh, oh man, this bass is the size of my head. JK. <laughs> Saw something just surface right out here. Yeah, we might just troll for some... Oh, oh. Getting the... That's definitely... Oh, it's a bass. Or is it? It's gotta be a bass. A little bass. Oh, jeez. Sad. It's so sad. Dang it. Now if that was like a perch or something, 
sit roots. There are so many teeny bass in here. Okay, so what we are going to do is some trolling. We're getting close to sunset. The sun is behind the trees at least. Um, I've got the chartreuse slayer on one side. And on the other side, we are gonna roll with a shallow Rapala. that has got the blue, chartreuse, and orange. And then we're gonna set this up and Ruger should relax because then there's nothing for him to chase. So we're gonna do a little trolling around and see what we come up with. That's about the same size as mine. Second one was definitely bigger. <laughs> Either, I think this one's a little bigger. Maybe it's not much, but the second one was nice. It is Monty. Monty T T T T. You know what he's doing and he does it all day. But he's Monty. Monty T T T T. Really looks like he's got to pee. didn't work. Hi Rugus. Hello Rugus. Are you a Rugus Dugus? Why is your neck just infinitely wet? I don't know what it is. Her neck is not grass. Layla's getting brushed. Hi Layla. Lucas is brushing. We've got, uh, you know, a lake out there. There's, uh, well let's go over here. Let's taste the freshness of that lake. That's, I mean, that's a fresh, fresh lake out there. Look at that fresh wilderness, tasty wilderness. Look at the fish as they surface. Look at that. I mean, that's just wonderful. Oh, there they are. Look at them. Come on, surface, you fish, do it. Do it, fish, do it. Oh, there's, there's one right there. Surface, you fish, do it. Do it, fish, do it. Okay. Oh my gosh. Fire. This is how you bushcraft a fire. That's bushcraft. Bushcraft. Do some more bushcrafting. I'm gonna wait for this big boy to get going. Don't call me a big boy. Wait for it. Are you gonna bushcraft? Wait for it. He's about to bushcraft. Oh my God. <laughs> That's how you do it. Bushcraft. <laughs> I think you smothered it. <laughs> it just put it right out. It scared the hell out of Ruger too. Yeah, poor I'm Rugs. Sorry, Rugs. That was way easier than sawing. Was it? Definitely. What are you doing to that stick there? Uh, bushcrafting? Bush <laughs> <laughs> Bushcraft 101. There we go. All right, dogs, you're in for a treat tonight. Fresh fish caught by your fathers. And for dinner tonight, I am having a 
pad thai with chicken backpackers pantry that was sent to me by a subscriber oh yeah it's gonna be good it's, 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 it's got some steps you know got to add stuff and things and then there's one crucial step <sighs> that step is now done <laughs> we got the doggies fish cooking the newest recruit in the wilderness doggy pack is passed out and done He's no stranger to the wilderness, but I've never do double dogged it before, and it's it's kind of taken a toll on the rugs as well. He's pretty, he's pretty puppy pooped. And then of course there's this guy. Just got to get his attention. All you gotta do is say, "Do you want a treat?" Monty, there's a mosquito above your left eye. That's not a treat, is it? You're getting a treat. I'm working on it. I need here two cups of boiling water and since we like it a little soupy we will do more than that so we're going to add in this and our peanut butter Got that in there, what do we have to do next? Add, uh, do, blah, blah, make sure we let sit for 15, 20 minutes. Okay, so, we just, uh, leave it. Ah, oh, it didn't mush. There. You can serve it to it like that. Did you, did you want more than that? Um, yeah, you can give her a little bit. All right. Don't be stingy. <laughs> Let's see, there's four fillets. There's three dogs. That was four fillets. Yeah. I guess a lot of it souped up into the, that's good enough. I mean, it's just not much fish when it's, they're just yeah. a few gills. See, I turn it into a slurry so that the little fish goes a longer way with the boys. They get the flavor and the juices. What'd you cook there, Lucas? Some gourmet lasagna from a bag. That looks exactly like lasagna. I would pay, oh, what would I pay in a restaurant? I don't know. Oh yeah, it's hot. I would pay someone to shut them down if they served me that. That's what I'd pay. <laughs> Rose, you, are you, you wanna sit down or you wanna, you're just gonna stay there. All right, go ahead, boys. Go ahead, Rooks. That's pretty good. I, I dig this. Oh yeah, they're all good. They're all delicious. I just like to be dramatic, but uh, yeah, the, Backpackers Pantry Chicken Alfredo, and then the Mountain House Chicken a la King is my next favorite. I've never even heard of that one. It's pretty good. It's like a creamy mushroom chicken sauce, noodles. Yeah, we got that stuff in there. It's said to uh, add a little bit of, what is this, sriracha? To taste. I know you don't like it too spicy. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sensitive with the spice i like to call myself a spice sissy oh no yeah we're definitely going to add this whole thing max spice and i said to add this crystallized lime packet to taste so we're just going to add the whole thing mmm that don't look too bad What? And then we gotta decorate it with peanuts. <laughs> you trying to get that in my... How mad would you have been? I mean, I would have let the crunch stay. Oh my gosh, look at that. Gourmet cooking in the woods. Let's eat. There's some food in here. I'm glad I made it a little soupy because it was a little, it would have been a little dry. Here we go. <laughs> oh man. I can't stop farting now. Mmm. 
Oh, that's pretty good. That's not bad. Not bad. The Backpackers Pantry Pad Thai with Chicken, pretty good. Pretty not bad. Spicy? Yeah, I think it's going to be a little spicy. <laughs> like... Mmm, that's hot. Spice hot or hot hot? Hot hot. I don't really taste the spice as much right now. I just called in an owl. I just started making the noise and I was wondering if it would work. But there's an owl over here going, Your butt's out? I think. I'm not looking up there. I'm looking at Monty. Should have done dog shadow puppets. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> we got a frog. Classic dog. I actually do a good rabbit, but it, it takes both my hands. Is this the ears going? Yeah. <laughs> It's easier to do if I don't have to hold the light. There we go. Beep, beep. Uh, <laughs> you did a great job. Monty. Monty. Do you want to go to bed, Monty? Treat. Do you want to go to bed, Monty? Monty, do you want to go to bed? Monty, are you alive? Monty, treat. Okay, he's alive. Let's go to bed, Monty. Come on. Come on. Monty, come here. Come. Come on, Monty. There you go. Figure out your live little creatures. All right, lay down. Lay down, boys. I know it's cooler out there, but there's no mosquitoes in here. There you go, Rugs. Rugs likes the floor. Come on, T, lay down. Hi. I don't like, you're gross. Yeah, it tastes like bug lotion. Isn't that nasty? Oh, you're juicing it. There we go. Okay, I got a big, fat, fluffy doggy and a Ruger and there's mosquitoes getting in, so we're gonna be passing out and get ready for bed. Uh, it's kind of early, earlier than normal, but I didn't sleep much last night, so I'm trying to make that up tonight. Um, yeah, so we're getting out of here bright and early. We got a couple portages, and yeah, that that's that. So I'll catch you guys in the morning. Good night, everybody. <laughs> What'd you do to the squirrel? I didn't do anything. Is it Layla? No, she's just laying here. It's like, a, it's right above me. I think it's just Caesar. She isn't, isn't doing anything. <laughs> it's going off. How long has he been doing that? Oh, I think he's done. <laughs> it's always funny because we're gonna leave him alone. You'll be sitting there trying to be perfectly still and you have a squirrel like crawl on your leg and then you'll move and then they start doing that. They freak out. Rugus, leave the poor Monty alone. He didn't hurt anybody. Look at him. He stole my sleeping pad. Piglet. Rugus. 
Alright, roll over, Rooks. Roll over. Roll over. There you go. Alright, now you take my T-spot. Oh, you turd. Alright. You know what? Go get that squirrel. Go get him. I slept so much better last night than the first night. Well, I think we're going without coffee and oatmeal and breakfast, and we're going to um, pack up here soon. A couple portages to take care of. And then we gotta go get the car. Anyways, we're gonna get out of here soon. If the season's over here, then I'll take them to it. Rugus, don't get wet, don't you okay? Please don't get wet today. I don't think Layla cares. I think she is a millionaire in her eyes. Like, she's got everything she wants. She's got her lackey to pull around in a canoe now. Feed her, shelter her. It's a crazy world out there. You got phones that are cameras, more than phones. Pretty soon you're gonna have cameras. They're gonna be, they're like, now you can talk on your camera. Yep. <laughs> She's just like a little, just. Tap, tap. Take a poop, turn it into a plop. Take a poop, turn it into a plop. Now, poop, poop. All right, we're packing up this DSLR. We are all ready to go. It's time to partage, paddle, and not fish, because we're heading out of here. We got early morning, so let's do it. Okay, well, we just got our last little paddle of the trip here. It is another just hot, sticky morning. The second you get out into the sun after doing a portage is just like, Wah! and just immediately sweaty and hot again. So uh, yeah, we just got a little bit of a paddle, another mile-ish across the way here, and then uh, we got one more portage and we'll be back to the truck. So this was a nice little trip. You know, we ate good the first night. We had some other meals the next night, good snacks. Uh, Layla got her first little wilderness taste of a trip, a canoe trip. She did super good. Uh, the only thing is, like, she'll probably come on adventures in the future. It's just she needs, still needs work because uh, this was super calm, uh, you know, hot, sunny weather. This was not like windy, big waves. So that there's a big difference, and that's the other reason Rugs is here. I would not have brought him if it was going to be super windy and treacherous, because you know, with both these stinkers in the boat here, I'm pretty way down. Ruger moving around making shifts, especially when he's, you know, just doing whatever, that, that definitely swings a lot of weight. So, 
All in all, this is a pretty sweet trip though. Ruger never got the, he hasn't got to do a trip like this when it's just me. If, if fun comes along, you know, we she brings one of them and that's no problem, but I've never double dogged it. So this is a dog on good time. But we are gonna finish our portage and then head back to the car and get on driving home. So as always guys, if you like the video, hit the like button. If you wanna see more stuff like that, hit the subscribe button and I will catch you guys at the next video. I'm sorry, Layla. Oh, I'm sorry. Layla.